So Jizor87, you make an amazing soundtrack, my friend. Kudos. Oh, this don't look good. Yay! Hey, hey folks, what's going on out there? It's Lumps the Clown, and I am fresh back from the holiday season. I've been plotting and plotting and plotting, and I'm finally ready to take on a game that I promised you folks last year, back 2014, and that is Hydora. This was put out 2010 by Loco Malito, and it actually has really amazing music. And the pacing and everything, it is amazing. It isn't like really super fast and tense like other ones you might have seen out there, like Silver Gun and all that shit, but there is plenty of bullets to dodge, and there's plenty of enemy variety as well as gun variety, weapons, etc. You can also get shield power similar to Supernova, aka Darius Twin. Without any further ado, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to show you folks exactly what this game is all about. Right here you got like your load screen. You can actually save your progress, which is a first for me when it comes down to shmups. And then you got here secrets. Uh, you can actually find secrets throughout the game. Uh, see right there you've seen one from a previous playthrough of mine, Escaping Astronaut. So that was a secret, and I'm sure there's other ones out there. I haven't found them yet. I can't seem to get past stage three. Uh, key config, I will not be clicking into that because that's going to give you the opportunity to change up your buttons and shit, as you can imagine. Uh, screen mode will flip you between windowed and also full screen. And then we got here the instructions. Uh, this kind of gives you a preview of the power-ups and everything that you can get. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of shit. Uh, credits, course, and then quit. Well, we're not going to quit. We're going to go in here, and we're going to play fucking Hydora. Soldiers, the future of humanity lies in your hands. God bless. Okay, ready to rock, Colonel. Unit 57, take off. Alright, so since I've played the first level a few times, I kind of know when the first waves are coming up. Just like as in Supernova, Darius Twin, you take out a whole group and you can get a power up. So you see them hanging out close together, try to take them all out, you get yourself some shit, some weapons upgrades, maybe even a shield. Shields are kind of rare in this game. I'm not quite entirely sure what the green orbs do, the ones I just picked up just now. But as you can see, I got four. Well, I'm probably in the way. I got four green orbs so far, so you can build them up. I'm pretty sure that gives you some cool shit once you hit a certain amount. Like maybe a power of fire and power of shit. Look at this fucking asteroid, though. This is crazy. So you just gotta go through here, shoot your way through. But dig that soundtrack. Extinction. If I could pick up a straight up soundtrack to this game, I'd be so fucking happy. Hell, it might even be on that locomito.com that you seen earlier. Now, you do have the option of just regular shooting like what I'm doing right here. But you also have one missile per level, and I don't know, I'm not aware of any power ups where you can get where you can pick up more missiles. But there it is right there. Didn't quite hit him direct on, but hey, I put a dent in his ass nonetheless. Uh, this is where you can save your game. Which I will go ahead and do now. And this is Cyclades, whatever wait, the hell wait. that is. It's like Cyclops and the Everglades mixed wow. together. Which is a combination I never want to see in real life. See, this is that astronaut you can pick up to gain one of those secrets. Okay, obviously he's an ally. Alright, so Turbo allows me a more rapid rate of fire, which is pretty nifty. Check it out, this guy dies. <laughs> That's fucking cool. Of course we're gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna jump up here and take these guys out. Oh god, so much bullets. Uh, that's what a shmup's all about, folks. You get in here, you try to fucking dodge shit, you try to blow everybody up on screen. Well, you do not want to bomb that, that's a friendly city. And unfortunately when I'm pressing down the power button, I got no choice but to drop bomb, so you gotta be careful. Okay, so that was a power up. So I'm shooting stronger now. Sweet. Whoa! Uh, took him out. Took him out. That bomb's actually pretty effective. It seems to have a blast radius, which takes out guys close by, too. Which is always a welcome addition. You need all the help you can get. 
This boss can be a bitch, you gotta watch out for him. He will fire projectiles out of the top, bottom, and the center, of course. I'm gonna save my missile for when I get to that center section. Oh, yeah! You gotta watch out for that. The bottom one's a little bit trickier to dodge. At least I got that shield there in case I fuck up. Oh. Whoa! Uh-oh. Damn it! Ah! That's the worst! Well, at least I get to take this guy on again. I should have one missile. But I got no shield, so there's zero room for error, folks. Zero room. Oh, oh shit! Alright, it's getting pretty hectic right now. So when this thing blows up, I gotta watch out for its little blast radius thing. Right there. Whoa, whoa, damn! I got no missiles, too. Shit! Well, I got him. Oof. And I believe this game was recommended to me by my good buddy Adam over at Replayability. And I wouldn't have discovered it otherwise. And if you actually go to the locomolito.com website, you'll be able to download this game, I'd imagine. I haven't checked it out myself yet. Been entirely too busy catching up from the economic downturn that other folks call the holidays. Okay, you see these little plant things right there? Do not let them fool you. They fire beams off like that. So you gotta be very careful. This is actually... Ah! The ship moves so goddamn slow! Oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. Caught me during a smoke break, motherfucker. That's like catching man with his pants down. You just don't do it. Speaking of which, nothing's worse than going into a public restroom and you just hear some fat dude in there or whatnot just drop a deuce. And I don't mean just like taking a shit, no, I mean like straight up. <laughs> and I died again. While telling an awesome story. Go for it. This is going to be my next goal, is I want to try to at least beat level 3. Then I also wanted to give big props out to my good buddy JD McFly for the excellent Christmas gift of Tiny Barbarian DX. That is an amazing game. I can't wait to dig into it some more. I just jumped right in. It reminded me of Rygar the arcade game more so than actual Rygar, which was pretty cool. You literally just go in there and beat shit up. It's got an excellent 8-bit soundtrack. I've been playing the fuck out of it. And speaking of gifts, I also wanted to thank Adam over the playability for kicking me down a copy of The Binding of Isaac. Amazing game. There's a lot of shit in it, yeah, so I had to get over that part of it. But hey, it's still fun nonetheless. A lot of strategy involved. I've been getting my ass kicked in it, kind of like I'm getting my ass kicked in this game. He does shoot those weird funky beams out, and then he does that shit with his arms. Oh, direct hit! Did you see that? <laughs> Not good. In a very precarious such fuck. Game over. Shit. I'm not aware there's any cheats or anything like that. I'd love to be able to check out the rest of this game. But then again, I kind of wondered to myself if I did that, and I can barely. I'm getting my ass split open at level three. What would happen if I had to jump to like say level five or six? Probably wouldn't be a good day for me. <laughs> no, it's my home. See, like, what if these guys are just minding their own business, right? And then these fucking people just come in and shoot them up, take their land, everything else. Just, it sounds too familiar for me, for my taste. Perfect. Ah, see, look at that. I lost 500 points for being a dumbass. Well, if anything, at least it shows you folks, yes, do not blow up your friendly ones. Bad. Not everything out here on the screen is bad. You know, kind of like River Raid, where you just know that everything is bad, so you shoot the hell out of everything. Fun. Gotta be a little bit more selective in this stage. I'm not sure if that applies to later stages. Here's this fuckbag again. Come here. Come get some, bitch. That top part should be coming off. Yep, there it goes. It took his top part off. <laughs> oh! Gotcha, bitch. That felt good. These bats can be annoying. You shoot them and they fall down and then they come after you, so you gotta shoot them twice. Uh oh. I'd seriously misjudged that shit. Fuck! I knew I was fucked! Alright, so now I'm back down to a single shot. It's not very strong. Come on, you can do it! What the fuck? Okay, so we're gonna blast through here real quick. Ah! So much shit to dodge.
Alright folks, well this has been Lumps the Clown and I have been playing Hydora 2010 by Luca Molito and then I believe it was Griffin87 with the music. Excellent score my friend and I'm so glad that Adam over Replayability recommended that I play this game and I'm finally glad I got the chance to capture it for you folks, show you what it's all about. Shmups happens to be one of my favorite genres, I just have to get better at them myself, but hey, that's what it's all about, right? It's going in there and getting your ass stomped over over and over and over and over and over again until you get it right. That's the way games should be made, and this is excellent work. I applaud you. Uh, check out locomolito.com if you want to check out this game for yourself. I didn't pay a damn cent for it, uh, but I'm sure there's a donation button on that page. If there is one, feel free to uh, donate to the developer and let them know that, hey, you did excellent work, my friend. Well, this has been Lumps the Clown. I want to say thank you for tuning in, and Lumps the Clown out. Game over.